वेलकम टू माई व्यूज न्यूज सम न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्टली एन अपडेट व्यूअर्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई शेयर विद यू अ न्यूज स्टोरी अबाउट अराइवल ऑफ एरटियन प्रेजिडेंट इसा सेफ की इन सुडान इन पोर्ट सुडान ही अराइव टूडे नाउ वॉट वी हैव लर्न इज दैट द विजिट इज लिंक्ड टू अ फेल्ड अटैम्प्ट एट Uh, creating consensus uh, and stability in eastern sudan uh, a meeting was held uh, yesterday uh, and in recent days uh, uh, to uh, create consensus uh, in eastern sudan because we know that in eastern sudan people have been rejecting a deal signed uh, few years ago uh, they reject uh, some factions reject jubba agreement as well some want uh, a new uh, agreement and that is why we have seen that eastern sudan faction they have been at the loggerheads with uh, khartoum and last year we saw that eastern sudan uh, factions uh, they closed uh, uh, port sudan they cut off eastern sudan with other parts of sudan so the meeting held yesterday could not uh, deliver and after that isas wakhi arrived in eastern sudan today so maybe his visit could be uh, with the approval of khartoum though khartoum has been uh, resisting erratian intervention in eastern sudan but this time khartoum could be on board maybe uh, Khartoum wants Isas Hawki to use his leverage in Eastern Sudan for peace and stability. Uh, I'll bring you more in coming videos. But so far, the visit is linked uh, to uh, internal uh, issues of Eastern Sudan. Eritrea can play a role in uh, bringing about some change in the form of agreement between Eastern Sudan and uh, Khartoum-based government. uh now some new stories first one is about uh, eritrean ambassador to kenya eritrean president is angry with eritrean ambassador to kenya bijine rosum is the name of the ambassador very vocal against tplf throughout the last two years we have seen him uh tweeting uh, speaking against tplf now he is under fire why is isas wakhi indignant at bijine secondly uh, professor kinde of tigray today spoke about the presence of erat in military in tigray where is erat in military in tigray he retweeted a video as well and thirdly we heard the several religious uh, leaders uh, some uh, political party workers have been released by the government today after yesterday's reconciliation between oromo or supplant orthodox faction and orthodox church of ethiopia details for you firstly viewers uh, eritrean ambassador to kenya is uh, in trouble Isas Wakhi is not happy with him. He is indignant at him. Uh, the man could be replaced, or he could be punished. What happened? Who is he? Bijine Rosum is his name. Eritrean ambassador to Kenya, and he is one of the staunch, uh, the most staunch critics of the TPLF. We have seen him several times lash out at TPLF. Uh, game over tplf is no more a threat we should move on that is what he has been saying uh but now he is under pressure he is under pressure from isas avoki eritrean president for what happened uh, last week last week uh, isas avoki was in kenya and at a joint press briefing of isas avoki eritrean president and william ruto Kenyan president uh, some international journalists asked very tough questions like uh, journalists from BBC Africa from Associated Press and from uh, uh, the Washington Post 
they asked questions of Asasa Wilkie. They asked, uh, when will elections be held in Eritrea? Who will succeed Asasa Wilkie? How many uh, Eritrean soldiers were killed in Tigray? Asasa Wilkie was not uh, able to answer these questions. He was embarrassed. He was embarrass embarrassing for Eritreans. Uh, he could not uh, uh, answer convincingly. Rather, he accused journalists of being. Uh, siding with TPLF and he was looking towards William Ruto to come to his rescue. Now, he is not happy with uh, the Eritrean ambassador to Kenya. Where was the ambassador? Why didn't he inform the president in advance that uh, tough questions could be asked? Did he inform the president that journalists were preparing to ask questions? Uh, and why did he... Why didn't he stop the president from conducting this press briefing when he knew, if he knew that uh, uh, some tough questions were going to be asked? So either he did not know or he did not uh, inform the president. Uh, president is not happy. Isasa Wilkie is not happy with the performance of uh, uh, Bijine uh, because obviously Isasa Wilkie uh, could not handle the questions. Uh, Eritrean, even his supporters, no one was convinced uh, by his response. Bine could be in trouble. He could be punished in one or the other form. Let's see. Secondly, viewers, Professor Kindea of Tegarai External Affairs Bureau today spoke. He said, Eritrean military is still in Tegarai. He said, in many parts of Tigray, still Eritrean soldiers are operating. What are they doing there? They are manning check posts, they are blocking roads, and Kindea claimed they are blocking, they are obstructing delivery of A2. They have not withdrawn. Kindea shared, uh, he retweeted a video shared by another uh, social media user two days ago. The video shows uh, a burning village, you can say, and uh, that uh, social media user claimed that Eritrean soldiers were burning villages near Badme, not far from Sheraro, and that people's livelihoods were, were being destroyed. This video was reshared, retweeted by Professor Kindea today. Uh, if the video is from Badme, obviously Eritrea will not withdraw from Badme. Badme, Eritrea claims, is part of Eritrea. It was uh, decided by a boundary commission more than two decades ago, around two decades ago. So, Eritrea will not withdraw from Badme, it's very clear. Eritrean forces have left uh, Shiraro, but in a previous video today, I shared with you details of what is happening in Shiraro, which gangs are operating in Shiraro, I shared details with you. But it, it means that Tigray's position is that still in border areas of Tigray, Eritrean military is deployed in the form of uh, uh, deployment at checkpoints uh, along the roads too. Last of yours, uh, Ethiopian government has released several top religious figures who were arrested in recent days. They were arrested after the start of a uh, religious conflict between uh, rival orthodox factions. Uh, Meriti of SFR has been released reportedly fiery Orthodox preacher arrested around two days ago, two to three days ago, and he was charged with uh, spreading hate, fueling conflict, terrorism, but now he is out of prison reportedly. Uh, secondly, Abe McConan, uh, a deacon, uh, a teacher of Orthodox uh, denomination, has also been released from uh, prison. Thirdly, uh, Yalim Zaid. Nathnail Yalim Zaid, member of uh, Baldiras party, uh, arrested several times in the past, uh, uh, not first imprisonment, released uh, from prison. And Teddy Fao released for 30,000 birds, uh, granted bail for 30,000 uh, Ethiopian birds. He was arrested around two days ago. Journalist, analyst, uh, people say he is impartial, his work is impartial, but he criticized PM Abi's government for religious orthodox uh, conflict. He has been released as well. So, what the government, is, what the government promised with the church elders uh, is being fulfilled by the government. Uh, 
that religious uh, leaders, journalists are being arrested, who were arrested in connection with their support for Orthodox Church of Ethiopia in recent religious uh, conflict. Thank you for watching.